Welcome back. We are now less than a week away from Juneteenth and the triad is continuing to commemorate the federal holiday in many ways. So the High Point Museum has a new outdoor exhibit for this titled Juneteenth Freedom Day. It will be open at the historical park on Saturdays. This is coming one on June 15th and then the next one on the 22nd. And the museum's curator of education is joining us live now to talk more about it. Good morning, Sarah Blanchett. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So can you just talk about this 10 panel outdoor exhibit? Describe exactly how this is gonna work. Sure, so we have um, a 10 panel outdoor exhibit on um, uh, like folded sandwich boards, if you will, all along the walkway that leads from the street into our uh, historical park and historic museum. And people are able to walk along the walkway and read the history and significance of Juneteenth from these panels. Consider it sort of uh, a snapshot of what Juneteenth is about. And Sarah, if you could talk more about the history and the significance of Juneteenth and how this panel will capture that. Sure, so the panel has uh, literal snapshots of the primary documents that are significant towards highlighting the events leading up to Juneteenth, Juneteenth itself, and then what happens after Juneteenth. So it has the Emancipation Proclamation for people to understand that it wasn't necessarily freeing every enslaved person, it freed only the enslaved people in the Confederate States. And then two years later, you have uh, the general order number three, which is the what is referred to as the like Juneteenth document. And it highlights that the combination of June and 19th refers to when the Union Major General Gordon goes into Galveston, Texas, and with the Union troops on June 19th to make sure that those individuals who are enslaved in Texas are in fact free. And this happens in 1865. So uh, two years after the Emancipation Proclamation. And then it goes into uh, what exactly was the first uh, Reconstruction Amendment, which is the 13th Amendment officially freeing all enslaved people. It talks about what Juneteenth is, how it was first celebrated in 1866, and then, of course, the symbols of the current flag, which was created in the 1970s, how it's uh, celebrated today and why Juneteenth matters. Well, Sarah, how does this Juneteenth exhibit play a part in the museum's civic season that you're in right now? So civic season begins with Juneteenth and bookends with July 4th. So it is a perfect way to highlight and kind of start the conversation or at least continue the conversation about what does it mean to be an American? What does citizenship mean? What is freedom and what? how do you value that? And really have those conversations about the foundations of this country and talk about the paradox of liberty and freedom to some and really talk about patriotism and nationalism and what those frameworks look like within this country in the past and today. Sarah, we know the High Point Museum is also selling copies of a book by a High Point historian. His name is Glenn Chavez. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Sure. Um, so since we are a museum that reflects our city and the city reflects us, we highlight a lot of African-American history. And Glenn Chavis is a High Point Historical Society member as well as a local historian. And he wrote a column for the news and records for several years. And so this book uh, entitled My High Point in Black and White with a Dash of Color is really the first volume or the first 100 articles out of 300 that he wrote. And this is his take, his experience looking through primary documents of uh, city council member, uh, meetings and uh, just the goings ons of black history in High Point. And he has it really lovingly and it's consider it a love letter for people to actually understand black history in, in the city of High Point. This is sold in our museum store and he would love to talk to people about it, maybe autograph it. He is here a lot. So he really wants High Point to really be invested in the black history of the city. 
Wonderful to hear from you, Sarah. Thank you for your time. And the new exhibit will be in the Historical Park on Saturdays, June 15th, and again on the 22nd from 10 in the morning until 4.30. The exhibit is free and it's open to the public. And as you heard her mention, you can find Glenn Travis's book on sale inside the museum store. You can learn more and always stay updated by visiting highpointmuseum.org.